Welcome to this presentation of What's New in Career Schematics 2. What I want to do is take you through the latest and greatest enhancements. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, I've got an email from my librarian administrator stating that there's some new information. I need to align my current design with all the new information that the library administrator has created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and import that new information from the library administrator. Now what we have here is a new uh, import guide and it steps you through the process. So all I have to do is select the file that the library administrator sent me and go to the next step. What this is going to do is going to read in that information from the library administrator and this is telling me that there's a new parameter being added to the catalogue called max length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import that new information and now I'm aligned with the rest of the enterprise. So here I have my uh, catalogue and I also have my uh, design sheets. So I've been working on the audio system but I've also received some information that a co-worker has updated that audio system. So again I've received some information from a co-worker and I'm going to import this new design sheet. So again it's the same wizard and what I'm going to do is just select that new information from my co-worker. And again it's the same wizard so I go to the next step and it says here that uh, I've got a modified sheet so I'm going to select on that, uh, that hyperlink and it takes me to the graphical interface of this, uh, of this new sheet. Now this is a great UI because it takes me through the original design, it takes me through the imported content and I can look at both content overlaid with one another or I can just simply look at the changes and I can see exactly what has changed to this, uh, with this design sheet. If I go to the components tab, it also tells me all the new items that have been added to this sheet and also the updated items. So I'm happy with those changes that my co-worker has done and I'm going to import that new information. The system goes along and imports that new design sheet. When I go back to reopen that design sheet, here you can see I've got the new design content. Now once I've finished with my design, of course I want to check into Windchill. And you'll see that here we've got the Windchill tab that is integrated with Creo Schematics and I have all the tools to check in and check out uh, my designs. So all I'm going to do now is just check that design in to the, uh, into Windchill. And down the bottom you'll see it's creating the representation, so the viewables for the, all the design sheets and it starts to upload those design sheets for me. That concludes today's presentation and if you want to know any more about Creo Schematics 2, please visit ptc.com.